Good morning, South Amboy Elementary School. Wow, I haven't seen you since last year. You get it? You look a little taller. My friends, I hope that you enjoyed your holiday break. I hope that you had lots of relaxation and fun times and laughter and cookies and maybe some presents and just a wonderful opportunity to spend time with friends and family and people that you love. So happy 2021. It is our first Mindful Monday of the new year. So I wanted to talk to you. You probably have been hearing people talking about making resolutions. And a lot of grownups will talk about that at, on New Year's uh, and, and starting the new year with a resolution. A resolution is, is a promise you make to yourself and um, might be a goal that you want to reach. So I want to use that idea of resolutions, but I want it to be a little bit stronger. And it's a new word maybe for some of you, and it's called intention. And it goes along with being mindful. And when you set your intention, it means that it's not just something you're wishing or hoping for or want to do. It's, I am doing this. It's a set plan. And intention means that something that you are going to do. And what I like about intentions is you can have a brand new intention every single day. Resolutions tend to be very big and hard to stick with because you have to do them for a long amount of time. Intentions, on the other hand, you could have them last a long time. You could have your intention be something you want to do for a week or a month or the whole year, like being kind. But you also could just have it be something smaller that you want to work on to improve yourself or improve the world around you and just be more present. We talked about that before the holidays. So we're going to talk about setting intentions, but before we set our intentions, let's make sure that we're nice and relaxed and focused and can be mindful about thinking about our intentions. So let's do our deep breaths. Ready? Very good. So when we talk about intentions, that's going to actually be our positive phrase for this week as well, because with an intention, you write it down, you say it out loud to somebody, and you think about it all throughout your day. And if it's an intention you want to do all week long, you think about it every single day. If it's an intention just for today, that's fine too. Um, and you just remind yourself of it throughout the day. So rather than saying, oh, I hope I can do this or I'm going to try to do this, you want to make it very strong and powerful because we are. We're strong and we're powerful. And you want to make it positive that you're going to do this. Okay. So I'll give you my example. I intend on eating healthy this week. What I'm I mean by that is I want to eat more fruits and vegetables. I want to eat less cookies and maybe junk food because over the vacation, I definitely did a lot of that. So I intend on eating healthy this week. That's my plan. That's what I'm going to do. And I've written it down for myself. And I actually hung it up on my refrigerator at home in, or while well, I'm at home in my kitchen so that when I'm in the kitchen, it reminds me, okay, that's my intention for this week. Okay. I intend to eat healthy this week and I might make it the same intention again next week, or I might change it to something different. So think for a minute, what you would like to do today, what's something good you want to make happen today. Maybe your intention is to be nicer to your brother or your sister, because maybe you guys have been arguing a lot since you've been stuck home together for a long time. So you would say, I intend to be nicer to my brother or sister. Maybe your intention is that you want to get all of your classwork and homework done this week. I intend to complete all of my classwork and homework. 
maybe your intention is something that's going to make you a better person. So you might say, I intend to stay calm even when I'm frustrated. Because maybe when you get frustrated, you get angry and you take it out on the people around you and it makes a lot of stress. So that could be your intention. It could be absolutely anything you want. And you would say, I intend. And if that's too big or, or doesn't make sense to you, just say, I will. Because it's an automatic. It's not a wish or a dream or a hope. It's something you're going to do because you're strong and powerful and can do whatever you set your mind to. So think about your intention. I want you to say it to yourself first. You might not have thought of it yet. If you know it, say it out loud right now. I intend to eat healthy this week. I hope that you have a good intention for this week. Remember to remind yourself and maybe it, maybe the week is too long. Maybe you just want your intention to be for today because maybe if your intention is to be nicer to your brother or sister, you know you can do it for today. You're not sure how you, if you'll be able to do it again tomorrow, <laughs> okay, my friends? So whatever works for you, but I want you to think about setting each day with an intention and it can be the same intention every day. My intention every day this week is going to be I will eat healthy this week. I intend on eating healthy. And I wrote it down. It's on my fridge. I want you to write it down somewhere where you can see it every single day and look at it multiple times a day and remind yourself of what your intention is. And it's another way to stay focused and be in the moment and not let all the other noise of the world and things happening get in, in the way of what you would like to do. Okay? My friends, Happy New Year. It's good to be back, and I will see you next week. Have a great week, everybody. Bye.